Okay, guys, old boy David taking on a capoeirista. Look at that. Oh, oh, his deceptiveness almost caught old boy David with um, Heistera to a Martello. Look at that. Mea Lua Gicompasso. Wow, he tried to spin into two Mea Lua Gicompassos. Dude, old boy David's acknowledging this. Old boy David basically has to time it right where he just presses in. You got to be careful, right? Because capoeiristas are very deceptive. But if you can time them in the right way where you negate all their really flashy kicks, look at like this, then they're out of their elements, right? That's why capoeiristas, if they learn some wrestling and then some jujitsu, they'd be basically unstoppable. I mean, you could stop them with a punch, but real capoeira has hits too, like um, strikes from the... <laughs> The <laughs> Old boy David tried to cop one and kick back and fell on his butt. <laughs> oh, that was awesome, guys. That was awesome. Oh, another Martello. So, Capoeirista. Uh, oh, two Mea Lua Um Capoeirista trying very hard to stick to, right? That was a um, um, Nega Chiva to a... Um, I guess it's like a Marcello, Martello de Chao, but look at old boy David just going in. Yeah, so old boy David's finding the right approach, man. 52-year-old uncle, man. He's awesome. I appreciate him in such a different way now because, you know, a lot of you know, I just went to my first chess tournament and I was the only person who's an adult who hadn't been playing for a long time. So it's like I was doing something completely new. Woo, old boy David with the skip, spin kick. There we go. See that? Jamming. Jamming the capoeirista. Capoeirista needs some punches, man. Look at that. End of the first round, guys. That was awesome. Second round. Yeah, so I was the only unrated player. There was another unrated player, but it's because he was like really good in Canada, but he hadn't had a U.S. rating yet. I was the only person who only started chess last year in November. So less than eight months. And oh, nice, nice. Combo by old boy David. He used a leg kick for entry and then um, did some punches, short range punches, right? Any punch, what's going on there? Oh, what is what's going on here? Dude, first round they had socks on, second round they have shoes. Oh, I don't know what's going on here, but you definitely have to be careful. I think he quit. I think Capoeirista quit. Did Capoeirista quit? Wow, Capoeirista quit. Wow, I guess those punches overwhelmed him, I think. Okay, I don't know. A draw. I don't know what happened, but hey, it was a draw. I played nine games, five days. Very, very tired. But when your mind is tired from chess, you make fight commentary videos. I will definitely show you guys my games. I learned so much, and I did better than I expected. But because I did better than I expected, I also am a little sad that I didn't win more. I threw away two games because of last minute mistakes and I was winning those two games. So I will show you guys those games. Make sure to follow my chess channel. Make sure to follow Old Boy David and Street Beefs. And if you haven't subscribed to all of us, make sure to do that and make sure to press a like. Just leave a comment what you think about this. Imagine a chess tournament plus Hoda. So you do a round of chess, Maybe a few minutes of chess and then you do a hoda and then you go back to chess. So instead of chess boxing, chess capoeira. What do you guys think about that? Maybe that's a sport I'm going to launch soon. All right, guys, let me know what you think about that.